So guys, I know it's been a long time since I've been on this channel. Oh my God, but I'm back. Oh my God. I, oh, sorry, got my headphones in. So I just wanted to pop on here because it is the holidays and I wanted to show you guys a top five, bottom five helpful blush guide. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the top five, of course, because that's what everyone wants to know. What are my favorite blushes as far as a makeup wear? And actually you can see on my face, there are a few pimples, but that's only because I didn't feel like covering them up today because I just didn't. So we'll start off with a recent favorite that I don't even know why I never got this blush before because it's amazing and it's an oldie but a goodie. It is Milani's Lumino. So gosh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Now I see why everyone loves this blush because when you put it on, it just gives a beautiful, healthy flush on the cheeks. It has a little bit of a sheen and that gives you sort of a highlighted sort of look. And it's just a, you can't see it on my hand very much. Oops, I promise. It looks beautiful on the cheeks, but you can see it a little bit there. It gives the most healthy, radiant flush to cheeks. If you don't have Luminoso, don't be like me, get it, it's beautiful. Next, so I'll put this as number five because it truly is. It's not though, it's my favorite, but I have a top favorite out of the five. Next, we have N NARS Dolce Vita. Oop, oop, this way. There we go. NARS Dolce Vita. NARS Dolce Vita, I saw it on Sabrina Carpenter and I was just hooked because it truly is just a beautiful blush. I mean, it's sort of the same tone as Luminoso, maybe a little bit more of a purple tone, just a slight more purple tone to it, but it is also just a beautiful blush. And I, eh, there it is right there. It is just beautiful and I love it. Next, we're gonna go with, of course, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. Now I like the original version, I like it, but I like the intense version more because you do get more of a color payoff with the intense version. It's a little bit deeper than the original and I find that I like that a little bit more than the original. It's beautiful and for darker skin ladies, it's gonna look beautiful on you. Of course you have that outer ring of the dark blush color, but then you have a little bit of a highlight there in the center that really adds to the radiant flushed look. It's beautiful. Next we have Tarte Party. This is a classic. Ever since I got that, this, it's been a love and I've worn it so much. As you can see, the sort of embossing has been worn down. That's how much I use it. Again, it's just a beautiful peachy pink. As you can see, there's sort of a theme here with right down there. Yeah, there, as you can see here, there's sort of a theme with the colors I like. I love a pinky peach, peach, peachy pink. And it just really lives up to the expectations that you hear about that color. It's beautiful. And then last but not least, number one, in my opinion, is again, another Tarte Amazonian clay blush. It is exposed. Now this one is like a deeper version of Party and I love it just as much and I will for forever use it there, right there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let's go to the bottom five. 